Well, we transition from Invisalign and beautiful teeth to celebrating the 4th of July as we make some patriotic pancakes with the executive chef from Scramble, Rick Moses. And can I just say, I love the name of your restaurant. Uh, thank you. I mean, with the name, here we are. We the love the name Scramble. of your show. Yeah, so I think we should be partners. What do you think? I think so. Tell everybody about the special deal that we've got going on because of our partnership. Well, uh, a few weeks ago, Pat McMahon was in our kitchen, and uh, we created a Poor scramble. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Nah, he's fun. And uh, we created a dish called the Morning Scramble, and uh, it has chorizo, green chilies, and uh, cheddar cheese, and also a fresh-made pico de gallo, and a portion of the proceeds will benefit AZ Search Dogs, which are the dogs that will uh, go into burning buildings, and they work wow. with the fire department, any natural disasters. So. Yep, we'd like to support our local charities. So. Local charities, we love the partnership, and now I know you've got two locations in town. Tell everybody where those are. Uh, the one in Scottsdale is on the northwest corner of Lincoln Road and Scottsdale Road, and then our Phoenix location is on the northwest corner of 7th Street and Mountain View. And we're making omelets and patriotic pancakes patriotic this morning. Pancakes, yes. Okay, let's get started. Okay. You know, with the omelets here. I mean, I love to cook, so okay. you tell me where I can help you. Well, I'm going to start with the omelet okay. right here. So I'm going to add a little bit of oil to the pan, turn up my heat. A little bit of oil to the pan? Yep. Okay. Just a little bit. You don't need too much. This is a nice nonstick pan. So. What kind of omelet are we making this I'm morning? I'm going to make our California omelet, which is a very popular item. Ooh. So it has Sounds good. turkey bacon Oh, yum. and fresh kale. I, I never know when I'm supposed to put all my ingredients in first. I always think I'm supposed to do the eggs first, but you're doing it a little bit different than how uh, I would Yeah, do. we like to saute ours first. So it's so that the, warmer. Yeah, and that, that way the flavor will sort of spread throughout the eggs as well, so. And that's kale, huh? Yep, that's fresh kale right there. That looks really good. So you just saute it for just a little bit. Just and a little bit. And I see some avocado over there yep, too. Yep, we're gonna put that on top. Okay. And while that's cooking down, we can start our pancake over here. And these are our patriotic pancakes. Yep. Now, big question. Other than love, what's your secret ingredient that goes into your pancakes? Because when I ask people this, they're like, oh, just lots of love. Just and it's like, no, 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 I need <laughs> to know. Is it, is it lemon? Is it cinnamon? Is it vanilla? All three? Uh, yeah, we put a little bit of vanilla in there, yep. You're still but not going to tell me, are you? Oh, darn. Trade, trade secret. <laughs> <laughs> and so what we'll do is somewhat of a small pan, so I'm just going to make one. But oh, perfect that. temperature there. So And it's so light and fluffy, too. Mm -hmm. Perfect temperature. So is it on like a medium heat? Because I always feel like I either undercook my pancakes or I overcook them. It can be hard if you don't have a griddle. Okay. So you can, you'll hear a little bit of a sizzle. Do you want me to be in charge? Oh gosh, sure, you're gonna you have to flip, to flip this flip one. It, but this is part of what makes it patriotic. Is we're gonna put red with the strawberries. And now I'm seeing that there's little bubbles. Is is that when you flip it, or do you wait a little bit longer? Yep, you wait until it's full of bubbles and the edges are starting to get dry. That's the oh, perfect timing. Oh, okay. And so then we'll also put some blue in there with this. Look at this. So there's our red. There's our white. Well, our blue. Yum. All right. I love I love strawberries. But any any kind of fruit in my pancake. So now, do you want my, do you want this? Uh, I or is that blue got a pancake? spatula over here. Okay. So look at the kale and the turkey bacon is cooking just awesome. You know, you guys are, you're known for all your local fresh ingredients. That's, Absolutely. That's really big with you guys. It's like shopping local. Why have the extra expense on the customer if you don't have to? Exactly. And it also helps to keep the money in the community in Arizona as well. Look at that. See, now I always think to put the egg in first and then everything in on top, but now I see how you're doing this. Ooh. We're almost there there. Really? Mm -hmm. See, now I probably would have already flipped. Almost there. When, Not that, once okay. all of it looks exactly like that, that's when we're going to flip it. Do I flip it more than once? Nope, just one time. Just that's one time. It. Yep, absolutely. Because if I flip it more than once, then does it get hard? Yeah, it'll, okay. it'll get kind of messy. This looks so, so good. You see with the omelet, as the edges are beginning to cook, you can just sort of lift it up like that. Wow. Now, do you look for the egg itself to have like a little bit of like, you know, the brown on it or? Oh, it, you know, unless somebody wants one really well done, we try to avoid the brown, mm -hmm. but. And I noticed you didn't put any milk in there. It's just the eggs and then the your eggs. other ingredients. Yep. Is that by choice, you know, because I've seen some people do milk, I've seen sour cream. It, it makes it a little less fluffy, I think, when you add more liquid to it. So if you've got oh. all egg, it'll turn out much nicer. So this is about ready to flip. Okay. Wow. Just like that. 
Okay, there's no way I could have done that. That was really good. Um, now, what about That's, over here? That is perfect. You, you, okay, you, you don't want to give it a shot? No, I'm, it's going to go All everywhere. Right, <laughs> Look oh, at this. It's kind of sticking. Oh, yum. Oh, there you go. Okay, come on, come on. It's going to be beautiful. Wow. Then now, how long on the other side here? Just a very like a shortly, yeah, maybe like thirty to forty seconds. And then you serve that with a breakfast sausage. Yep, we do our own handmade patties that we get from Shriner Sausage, which is local. Yep, right downtown. Cost so. of the patriotic pancakes in uh, the omelets. What can what would that run you about? Like I believe this is about seven ninety eight. This is on special for Fourth of July weekend. Mm -hmm. So that's and the omelet. I believe with hash browns and toast will be in the range from eight to nine dollars. So. And you are open Monday through Sunday from 6 a.m. to 2. Correct. 365, 365 days, days a year, a year including all the holidays. And I know we're going to be heading in to get our morning scramble uh, on the 4th of July. So oh, look at you. Put it on the plate, fold and it over. And flip it, and then the cheese just like, oh, and now the finishing touch of the and avocados. The fresh avocado. Yum. Just oh, that looks that. so good. Okay, got to finish this one up too. Oh boy, oh boy. So then we'll flip it so that the red and blue are visible right there. I love it. Look at that. Do you want the sausage on the plate too? Or is that a side dish? Oh, I'll put it down in just a second. Sorry, I didn't mean to oh, interrupt no, that's, you. No, that's I know, quite this all is right. a masterpiece here. <laughs> <It's> a master. <laughs> it is. Just like. How did you learn that. to cook? That looks fantastic. Well, my uncle owns a restaurant back in Detroit. When I was 14, I started washing dishes, and he would drag me over every day when he was busy to learn how to cook eggs because he needed help. So they are just I've been doing it for about 20 years now. 20 so. years. Mm -hmm. Okay, so head over to the scramble, order any of these dishes or the morning scramble dish. And there's two locations. And for more information, you can always go to azscramble.com. Happy Fourth of July, everybody. We'll be right back.